What is going on everybody? Zach is back here. I wanna first and foremost go ahead and give every single one of you as a viewer, as a subscriber, a massive, massive shout out, a massive thank you. We have reached a thousand subscribers, guys. That is awesome. We're gonna keep on pushing forward to try to increase that number. Uh, the more everybody likes, shares, and subscribes, the more this channel is gonna keep on growing. And again, I cannot thank each and every one of you enough. But let's go ahead and jump into the main point of today's video. So I just received the package today. It includes some items that I think it's time for me to finally uh, start using. I went down Saturday on a ride that I had. I didn't go down hard, wasn't anything too crazy. Check it out right here. Ow. Right into my knee. Oh, bang the f out of my knee. Oh, I don't know what I hit my knee on. Hit my knee on something though. Ooh, that hurt. A little too fast. Holy hell! Bent the living crap out of my brake. <laughs> I gotta try to bend that back. I don't know what the hell I hit my knee on. Jeez, damn, that really hurt my knee though. So as you can see, that's what my wreck entailed. Now I continued riding the rest of the day. That was about 30% into my ride, 35% of the ride. Uh, the rest of the ride, I did ride all day. I rode good, I rode hard, had a great ride. Uh, my knee was a little bit in pain, but as you saw from the video, I didn't really go down going that fast. Uh, I didn't really go down that hard I was going up a slight incline and I didn't notice that the two tracks crossed one on the left one on the right I kind of caught it last minute when I saw that I was in the middle I figured I'll just ride up the center and I'll cut into probably the right you know section once I ride up the center didn't work out in my favor you know front tire went to the right rear tire went to the left and since I was going uphill uh, the bike instantly folded went sideways and since it was going uphill, the rear brake just snagged into the ground, bent completely into a U. Um, I don't know if I hit my knee on a rock that was on the ground. I first was thinking that maybe I smashed my knee on the end of the handlebar, but by looking at the video, I don't really see how, how I would have hit my knee on the handlebar because uh, I kind of went off the bike from the side and forward. So, but after such a small wreck, I got to tell you, my knee was in some pretty serious pain. Um, I have a really high tolerance for pain. Thankfully, it didn't turn out to be anything severe. I think I just kind of smashed it good enough to where it bruised it pretty good, probably even bruised my kneecap a little bit. As of now, it is Thursday, so it's been about five days now since the ride. My knee is pretty bruised, but not bad. I've had worse bruises, and it's still kind of sore and tender. Doesn't hurt to walk, doesn't hurt to bend it. Um, you know, to fully bend it, fully extend it, doesn't hurt to put weight on it, anything like that. It just feels a little tender if I push on the actual kneecap, like a bruise would. That's how it feels, like you're pushing on a bruise. I might have a ride coming up this Saturday. Let's go ahead and jump into the package and see what we got. Here is the box, the package that I received today. Uh, don't mind the tape. I tend to like to open up my boxes before I do a revealing of anything because you never know there might be an item that's missing. I didn't actually go over the items yet, so hopefully everything's good, solid, nothing's broken. So let's go ahead and bust open this tape. It's funny, I know I said it in one of my other videos, but my daughter likes to actually open up all my packages anyway. So usually when I get home, they're already torn apart. Yeah, kids will be kids. First thing you see right here is some pro taper grip. So we're gonna try this instant glue, this instant grip glue, even though I wire down my grips as well. I really wanted to get some lock on grips. Well, the ones that I did find that were compatible, I couldn't find any of them in stock. So I had to go back with the basic form of grips. But, you know, they're tried and true. Let's go ahead and take this packaging out. Let's throw that aside. Got some more packaging here. Throw that aside. Uh, first things first, I bought some elbow guards. Now, what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and bought the items that were the highest rated, so which were the most popular items, which everybody seems to tend to buy, I guess, but were also the highest rated most popular items. That's what I ended up going with. Uh, nothing that I bought was actually too expensive. There are some uh, gear parts, uh, protective gear parts that are, 
you know, four or five, 600 bucks just for the chest protector. I didn't go with anything like that right now. I figure we'll try this stuff out, see how I like it, see how it feels when I'm, you know, riding with it on. And if I do end up liking it, I can always downgrade this to my son, who is practically the same size as me now. Um, or also my wife can wear this stuff because she doesn't ride as hard as we do. So if I tend to upgrade, I can, you know, downsize this to either my son or my wife. So anyways, got us some Thor elbow guards right here. These are the Quadrant. Uh, they are designed, obviously, for motocross and trail riding. It's a one-size-fits-all for the adults. So it says that they're perforated foam padding for heat venting. That's another thing that I looked for. I looked for gear that apparently was really lightweight uh, and then stuff that also air flowed really well like this. So everything that I got, again, is supposed to be really good with airflow, super lightweight, kind of supposed to be like you don't even know you're wearing it. And all of this gear can also be worn underneath of my jersey and my pants. Designed to minimize hyperextension, suspension stitching for shock absorption, molded ventilation holes for maximum airflow, padded elbow, donut for added protection, and obviously perforated foam padding for heat venting. Next thing we got were some O'Neill knee and shin protectors. So again, this was uh, one of this was basically the highest rated and the most popular purchased item. So I just went ahead and picked it up. The links for all these items would be in the description. The elbow pads were like 24 bucks for the pair. And these knee and shin protectors, I think were actually on sale. And these were like 22, 24 bucks as well. So really dirt cheap. Uh, I can't believe I haven't actually purchased anything like this yet. Uh, but once I bashed my knee this past Saturday, man, I really decided that I need to try some of this stuff out because your knees, your elbows, your chest and your back, uh, our primary points of impact and you don't want to get impaled by a tree branch that's you know pointing out in the chest you don't want to fall over and land on your spine on some sharp rocks uh, you don't want to go down on your knees on some sharp rocks or smash your knee into a tree by flying off your bike your elbows things like that there's just skin and bone there you can get into some seriously gnarly injuries just by hitting those points of impact knee and shin protectors uh, they look really good they're super lightweight not really much to them. So as you can see here, they just say comfortable knee shin pad in carbon look, uh, perfect for BMX, MTB or MX, short shins fit inside boots. Uh, so these will fit inside your MX boots, which is awesome. Adjustable elastic straps. It's a one size fits all for adults. Uh, that's pretty much it, certified to CE standard. So the third and final protection item that I got, and the reason why this comes in multiple colors, the reason why I got this in the white, uh, I would have preferred the black, but just because the black is more stealth, but the problem with the black in the summer is that, you know, the, the black color is going to absorb the heat. It's going to heat up faster. The white is not going to heat up. It's not going to absorb all the, the summer sunlight if I want to wear this over top of my jersey. So I went ahead with the white. That way, if I wear it over top of my jersey, it's not baking in the sunlight and, you know, heating me up. And then if I wear it underneath the jersey, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see it anyways. So let's go ahead and pull this out. It's a pretty big item. Probably going to have to move the box. Let's take it out of the plastic wrap. Do it like this. This will work. Again, this was um, one of the top purchased and top rated items. Obviously, there's items out there that are most definitely better. But for basic trying out protection, again, I just wanted to go with what was the most popular and the highest rated. So I wasn't buying anything that was absolute trash. But I was buying something that would at least get me into the field of, you know, protective gear to see how, obviously you should wear it, whether you like to wear it or not, you really should wear it. So I can't really say whether I like it or not, because even if I don't like the feel of it on me, chances are I'm gonna force myself to get used to the feel of it. If I get used to the feel of it, obviously I'm just gonna protect myself. I went ahead and got the medium to large fit only because I, was reading in some of the comments that some people were saying it fits a little, the sizing is a little large. So uh, most shirts and everything that I wear are larges. 
Uh, some shirts can actually be a medium, depends on the style, the cut, the way, you know, how loose it is. So I went ahead with the medium to large. So this right here is the chest portion of it. Pretty rock solid feeling. Uh, super, super lightweight. It's got some nice padding on the inside. Let's go ahead and see what this right here says. Well, this is the Thor Guardian, medium to large, adult. Uh, stone shield constructed with energy dispersing molded plastic panels. Uh, strategically placed ventilation ports for maximum cooling, which is a major plus for me because it's really hot around here right now, 80 to 90 degrees, super high humidity. Uh, refined fit for maximum deflector coverage. Unique pressure fit molded comfort liner system provides a smooth inner chassis for maximum comfort. Adjustable suspension shoulder guards with molded comfort liner. Adjustable and removable bicep arm guards with molded comfort liner. That's a nice add-on feature for this. Not a lot of these have bicep guards. Uh, the bicep guards on these are a nice feature to have. How many times is, you know, you slid up to a tree or something like that, you went arm right into it and it's the side of your bicep lower than your shoulder. It's good to have that you hit a tree like that too quick, you know, you take the chance of really messing your arm up. But these are also removable. So if you don't like them on there, they are fully removable, which is, I love that feature. Adjustable waist buckle closure system. Uh, this is a level one back protector constructed to reduce impact energy transmission. So I think they go all the way up to a level three. So this is basically like the beginner level, but this unit is only like 80, it's rounded up to 90 bucks after taxes. So it's really on the lower budget side. Uh, again, they make these four or five, $600. Um, I'm not ready to upgrade or buy something like that just yet. So I wanted to try this out first. And again, if this doesn't work out well for me and I want to upgrade, this will be perfect for my son. Uh, he doesn't ride fast. He doesn't ride hard like we do. So his you know, if he does go down, it's going to be a much lower uh, force of impact, and this will be perfect for him. So yeah, that's basically it for that. Uh, it comes with this really gnarly manual, dude. What do you need a manual like that for, for a protector? I don't know. So yeah, that's basically it. This is the chest side, okay? These are the shoulders. You know, super lightweight. Nice padding on the inside, nice thick padding. Great ventilation, it looks like. Uh, same thing on this side. Fully removable. A biceps, you just fold this forward and this comes right out. Straps right around your arm. And then here is the back portion. So basically the same thing as the front. Nice ventilation on it. These are the buckle systems. Seem to be pretty nice. The elastic straps seem to be of you know pretty good quality. So again, we'll see how it is. And get that out of the way. And right, get this out of the way. All right, so I went ahead and ordered myself a, which is kind of weird. Uh, for the OEM CRF250L, you can't order just the throttle tube. You have to order it with the grip, which is fine. Makes sense. Uh, but it's like six bucks for this. Five, six bucks. I need an OEM one, so hopefully this grip will come right off that no problem and I could throw my new grips on it. I needed this just for the throttle tube. Last but not least, we've got two packs of Odie Half Waffle. Really, really nice grips, super comfortable grips. Uh, really good grip with these grips. Again, I wanted to go with some lock on. Uh, unfortunately, the lock on grips that I could verify that fit the 250L, none of them were in stock. I checked multiple places couldn't find anything on Amazon because I wanted to get some, you know, legitimate lock on grips for my new bars, new bar setup. I couldn't find anything in stock. The only ones that were in stock that I found that I knew for a fact would work with the 250L were colors that I didn't want, where were like bright yellow with like black lettering, pink, green, obviously. I don't want to put green, yellow, or pink grips on a CRF. All the other ones were out of stock, so I'm kind of SOL on that. Order some new grips. No big deal. Needed to get these though. I got two pairs of these because I want to give a set of these away to one of you that we reached a thousand subscribers. So I want to go ahead and do that for you guys. If anybody's interested in getting the pair of these for free, go ahead and just type yes in the comments section below and I'll do a raffle on it. I'll see whose name pops up from the raffle and then we'll proceed from there. I'll get your information and I'll mail you out a pair of these. Again, if you're interested. We'll open up one pack just so I can show you what the grips look like. These are the gray half waffle, real nice looking. 
I love the gray. I love white grips, but I like the gray more just because the gray tends to not get dirty as fast. Uh, the, the gray also tends to clean better. Use like a nice toothbrush with some Dawn dish soap, something like that. Maybe some simple green, cleans these off real nice. Makes them look brand new again. So that's what they look like. Again, if you're interested in getting a pair of these for free, just go ahead and type yes in the comments section below and we'll proceed from there. All right, that's gonna pretty much do it for today's video, everybody. If you aren't already, please do go ahead and subscribe. I like this video if you liked the video. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see next, whether it be on the DR200, whether it be on the CRF, motor vlog, dirt bike ride, a maintenance video. Please do let me know. I make these videos for everybody's entertainment, so I'd love to put out videos that everybody wants to see. So if you have an idea of something that you wanna see in particular, please do let me know and I'll try to do my best to make it happen for you. If you guys want in on these grips, do make sure you go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below just saying the word yes. Just the word yes. If you leave a full blown comment, just at the top of your comment, go ahead and write the word yes, uh, capitalize it all, whatever you wanna do. And then I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I'll jot down everybody's name that is interested in these grips. You're gonna receive them for free. And then we'll go ahead and do the raffle on them with everybody's name and I will release the winner once I do the raffle, once the video is done, we got everybody in the comments. I'll give everybody a little bit of time just to see who all wants them. I don't wanna jump the gun and have, you know, two people if, you know, 10, whatever. So just do that in the comment section. And again, I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out and thank you to each and every one of you. Since we've reached a thousand subscribers, I wanna do something big for everybody. Uh, I'm planning on something right this second. So stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you can stay updated and go ahead and follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and that will keep you notified with what I'm doing on uh, you know, basically every other day basis. I tend to post there way more than YouTube as of right now, but I'm gonna be posting on YouTube way more often very soon here. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. Let's keep the channel growing, everybody. Go ahead and share the channel. Thank you very much. Adventure Zach is out. Until next time, catch everybody on the next one. Peace.